Welcome to Thoroughbred Racing Action here at Gulfstream Park from Sunday afternoon. We have 10 races on the card. We'll send it upstairs to Pete Aiello. He'll give you the scratches and the changes. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a spectacular Sunday afternoon of world-class Thoroughbred Racing live in Hammondale Beach, Florida at Gulfstream Park. The weather is beautiful, partly cloudy skies. It's a bit warm, temperatures in the low 90s. First race, first half of the early daily double, starting leg of the 50 cent early pick five. Racing at Gulfstream. The newcomer Fortune Dreams was a step slow to get going. Good start inside for Barbaresco Baby, who heads off for the early advantage. Practical Veil on the far outside. Little Carly holds down the rail, and Wicked Ice comes away in a contending spot, fourth behind the speed. Away fifth is Ziliana together with St. Joe Jet, two in front of Air Force Babe. Then Moonlight Vision and Fortune Dreams, and out the back, Juliana's Ruby. To the far turn they go. They have less than five sixteenths to run. Up front, it's crowded, and taking the lead is Practical Veil. Far outside, Eliana, just inside her, St. Joe Jet, trying to work into the clear is Wicked Ice in the purple cap. Holding down the rail, that's Little Carly. Moonlight Vision's underway, but she's got traffic problems. She'll hook to the far outside. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Who do you like here? Moonlight Vision's the one you better like as she's charging hard down the center. Moonlight Vision front and center to take the lead. Inside Wicked Ice with Ileana between. Final 16th of a mile at 5-1. to one. Moonlight Vision and jockey Leonel Reyes win going away. Wicked Ice is second. Third Ileana. Fourth St. Joe Jet. And then it was Practical Veil. 58 flat. They're off. Good start for the favorite, Charlie's Beauty, ridden for the early advantage. Second is you, Brett Joe's praying. Down at the inside, go Isla. Tapachino comes away in the top flight, and out in the middle is NVIDIA. Second last for Gift Box Surprise, the early trailer is Sky Portrait. And the run to the half-mile point, Charlie's Beauty has the lead by almost a length. At the rail, let's go Ishla racing up on the outside, and you bet Joe's praying a closer second now. From fourth, NVIDIA. Up to fifth goes Giftbox Surprise, passing Pat Tappuccino, and still at the back is Sky Portrait. They leave the backstretch and move around the far turn. 22 and 4 for the quarter. Charlie's Beauty has the lead by two. Up on the outside, NVIDIA giving the green light into second from Go Ishla, who's at the rail in third. Dropping back to fourth is You Bet Joe's Praying, well clear of the others, led by Gift Box Surprise as they reach the top of the stretch. From the inside, Charlie's Beauty, NVIDIA, very green, just blue to the outside. Off cover comes Go Ishla with a run. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Diaz. He says go with Charlie's Beauty. She goes to a three length lead. Trying to the corrector course is NVIDIA down the center with Go Ishla, but at the 16th pole, the betters had it right. One look is all it's going to take for Charlie's Beauty to win and win easy. Charlie's Beauty by six in the end. NVIDIA is up for second. Third was Go Ishla, and fourth, you bet Joe's praying. 111 and three. Horse racing or a seasoned professional, we have something for everyone here at the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. From fine art to legendary artifacts, our mission is to preserve and promote the history of thoroughbred racing in America and honor the sport's most accomplished participants. Open year round and located on Union Avenue, right across from Saratoga Racecourse, adding to the rich history surrounding the oldest racetrack in America. Visit racingmuseum.org. They're up. 
Good start for this favorite, Empanema Princess. She's one of the first in to stride today. From Lenny Kate on the outside, the pace is a slow one early, with Gray Princess tucking in third. Dubstep is on the outside, and La Loba Feroz is last of all as they chase the speed of Empanema Princess. Empanema Princess leads while not going much on the top end, as Lenny Kate is within a half a length in second. At the rail, Gray Princess is third. From fourth and out three deep is Dubstep, and at the back, La Loba Feroz. Field separated by about three and a half lengths behind a quarter in 26 and four. Eponema Princess with a sedate gallop on the top end leads by a length. Lenny Kate is second. Outside it's Dubstep who's trying to quicken things up in third. At the rail in fourth is Gray Princess and La Loba for Rose is last. Down the backstretch they continue, and the leader is still Empanema Princess, with Lenny Kate latched on to her second. Dubstep is on the outside. Gray Princess is under a loose rein toward the rail, and La Loba for Rose is last. They went to half in 51-2, and two, and they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. It's Ipanema Princess in front three parts of length. Lenny Kate up on the outside is now second at the rail. Gray Princess given the green light to try to close ground on this loose leader. Outside dubstep tailing off La Loba Feroz, bravening up Ipanema Princess. Ipanema Princess with nothing but clear sailing ahead of her. She's a quarter of a mile from home under confident Vasquez handling and three lengths in front. From the outside, it's dubstep from between Lenny Kate up the rail, Gray Princess. Eighth of a mile to go. Now Miguel asked my Ipanema Princess to do some work, and the job is finished. She's a winner at 3-5. to five. Ipanema Princess, striding clear. With never an anxious moment, she'll win by four lengths. Gray Princess is up for second. Lenny Kate ran third. Dubstep is fourth in uh, race three, 142 and three. In the middle, last run gets the first call on the far outside. Drink and Wink put into play. Driving through at the rail, Prince David's on the go. Prince David to shove a neck in front. Drink and Wink is alongside in second from last run, who will take a trail spot to run in third. At the rail, it's Mr. Cooper into a joint fourth with Iconic Rock. The early trailer is he's a commissioner. And a run around the first turn, Prince David and Luca Panici on top by a length. Drink and Wink is second. Two and a half to last run, who's now third at the rail. That's Mr. Cooper into fourth. Outside fifth goes Iconic Rock, and the trailer is he's a commissioner. The opening quarter was 24-2. and two. They're less than five furlongs from home, and they're chasing Prince David, who leads by a length. Drink and Wink is second, a closer third now is last run. At the rail, that's Mr. Cooper, who's a patient fourth at this stage, ahead of Iconic Rock, and he's a commissioner. They have just over half a mile to journey. They went the half in 49-1. and one. The leader is still Prince David by a length. Drink and Wink is second. Last run remains third. Up into fourth is Iconic Rock with Mr. Cooper at the rail, and he's a commissioner as last. Around the far turn they race, five sixteenths from home. Here's a move from Drink and Wink to take on Prince David for the top. Last run given the green light to launch his bid. Two back to the rail and Mr. Cooper. He has about six lengths to raise and a quarter of a mile to raise it. Three quarters, one thirteen and three. They're on their way home with his ears up. Drink and Wink turns for home on top. Last run takes aim second down the center and Mr. Cooper with an eighth of a mile to go. Drink and Wink on top two and a half. Last run second, Mr. Cooper trying to catch him. They come past the 16th pole with Drink and Wink clear with no dangers. Drink and Wink is in front. Mr. Cooper is up for second. Last run ran third. He's a commissioner is fourth in 142-1. and one. Faxi was away quickly. Down at the rail, the gray black belt Barbies put into play early. Black belt Barbie has command early. Right alongside is Jess Mercy from second. Out in the middle, Gold Faxi moves it closer. Up streets on the far outside. Then back to the inside, red-haired gal. The early trailer is the late-running La Mirada. 
Golfaxi and Upstreet challenging Black Belt Barbie for the top. They're almost three across the course here as they complete the opening quarter. Racing in fourth is Jess Mercy. That opening quarter posted in just 25-1. and one. It's a gap of four back to Red-Haired Gal and at the rail La Mirada asked to quicken by Ferrer as they make their way four and a half furlongs from the wire. Black Belt Barbie doing battle now with Golfaxi. Out three wide and up street from third. Back to fourth and Jess Mercy. Two and a half to La Mirada and out the back is Red-Haired Gal. Half a mile away, Golfaxi within a neck of Black Belt Barbie. These two race on past a 48 and three half mile. Jess Mercy is moving at the rail to take in third spot now, back to fourth and up street, then red-haired gal and La Mirada. They pass the three furlong grounds, and Golfaxi's had enough of Black Belt Barbie and strides clear to lead by two and a half. Black Belt Barbie trying to muster another effort. From the outside, it's Jess Mercy, driven into fourth, red-haired gal. That's all for up street. They went three quarters and won 13 and one, and they turn for home. It's Golfaxi the target. Jess Mercy plays her hand pretty well on the outside. Black Belt Barbie trying to resurge at the rail. They come past the eighth pole. It's now Jess Mercy who's gained the upper hand, and she's drawing off at seven to one. Jess Mercy for trainer Dale Carrington, a four-length winner. Back for second was Black Belt Barbie. Back to third ran Golfaxi, that red-haired gal, at 138-3. Between horses, Fly Eric Fly reaching out for the early lead. Going with him is Never Say Never. These two race on. For the Chief is away in good shape. Beach Gold is fighting the rating. Van Dyke takes a big rain full of him. Valued Cajun will give up ground while racing wide to the first turn. For the Chief is into the action. He's down toward the rail, only three lengths off the lead. The two at the back, Mystic Loot, and cruising. Around the first turn they go. Nothing settled here. Never Say Never has the lead. Three wide, Valued Cajun, two path, Fly Eric Fly. They've gone two and a half better than for the Chief, who's very well situated, fourth at the inside. Outside fifth is Beach Gold, who's settled down a bit now for Van Dyke. Three better than Mystic Loot, and the trailer is cruising. 23-4 and four for the opening quarter. No rest for the weary here as they head to the half-mile point. Never Say Never has inside position. Fly Eric Fly is in the black cap between. Valued Cajun is covering ground three wide into third. For the Chief is only a length and a half off the lead in fourth. Back to fifth goes Beach Gold, then two back to Mystic Loot, and cruising is last. 47 seconds for the opening half mile. Around the far turn they race. Three wide valued Cajun, two path, Fly Eric Fly. Van Dyke going four wide on Beach Gold. Meanwhile, for the Chief, tries to follow Fly Eric Fly in the two path as they race to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. The rail's going to open for For the Chief as Fly Eric Fly is floating out Beach Gold. Off the turn in the stretch drive. Beach Gold on the stand side. Fly Eric Fly in the middle. From the rail, For the Chief, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Fly Eric Fly's digging in. In tight is For the Chief down the center in Beach Gold, final 16th of a mile. On the inside for the Chief. In the middle, Fly Eric Fly for the Chief. Fly Eric Fly for the Chief. For the Chief did not let that tight quarters prove a problem for him. He got the job done. Fly Eric Fly second and Beach Gold third, 143 and four. They're off. 
Thomas the Gray was away pretty well. Moving up on the outside, Sovereign of Speed wants to be part of the pace. In fact, Sovereign of Speed wants to be the pacemaker, and he'll get what he wants as he crosses over ahead of the Gray Boldness. Outside my friend's beer, the early trailer is Burning Man. Out of the chute, onto the main track, Gonzalez now takes a big rainfall of Sovereign of Speed. His lead is only an neck. My friend's beer is up alongside in second. The Gray Boldness is third. He's moving closer now for Zayas, and the trailer is Burning Man. 24-1 and one for the opening quarter. Sovereign of Speed has a lead by almost two. Boldness kept out of traffic issues while racing in the clear second. My friend's beer is on his outside third. At the rail, that's Burning Man last of the four with half a mile to go. It's Sovereign of Speed now asked to quicken. Boldness within a neck already second. The half mile was 46-2. and two. Three wide. My friend's beer begins to drop back a touch. At the inside, it's Burning Man. So they're two by two with three-eighths to run. On the outside, it's Boldness who strides right past Sovereign of Speed. Up into third is Burning Man. My friend's beer needs to do much better than that. They run to the top of the stretch with Boldness the target. He sneaks away to a two-length lead. Burning Man tries to come out of the crowd to go after the leader at the inside at Sovereign of Speed. My friend's beer has been defeated as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, 111 and one. Boldness has one to fight off. It's Burning Man who's asked to quicken by Baracco second. Final 16th of a mile, Boldness and Zayas with a two length lead. Up into second is Burning Man, but time has run out and a race congratulating Safi Joseph Jr. for a leading title. He wins it with Boldness. Second, Burning Man. They were well clear of my friend's beer third. Then Sovereign of Speed, 37 and 2. They're at the post. And they're off. Not an especially quick start for Tiz Tail. In fact, he was last to break. The Great Grimes is ridden for the early advantage. Up on the outside, Truth and Honesty has speed. Splitting horses, Millennium Condo into the top flight in the run to the half-mile point. Down at the inside goes Akamar together with the North Remembers. And at the back is Tiz the Tail. He's well back early. They make their way to the final three furlongs and outside Truth and Honesty now strides forward to take the lead. Grimes is at the rail. Millennium Condo holds ground between. Then it's back to Frosted Faith. The North remembers starts to work home for a run. Akamar is next and far back is Tizzitale. They went 22-3 and three for the opening quarter and they reach the top of the stretch. Up front, it's Truth and Honesty doing battle with Grimes. The North remembers would love to hook off their flank. Outside and Frosted Faith trying to deny him that lane, but he's there now, the North remembers, and he has dead aim on the in battle duo an eighth of a mile out. It's Grimes finding for, for, for Perez. He's two in front. Truth and Honesty is second. The North remembers charging hard on the outside. 16th to go. It's Grimes who digs in. The North remembers out of time. Grimes wins. Grimes beats the North remembers with Truth and Honesty third. Fourth Millennium Condo. 103 and four. Towser gets the first call and goes hunting the advantage, moving to her. She prospers on the outside. Burnaway is up into the mix and at the rail. Okay, fine. Marching forward, but denied that rail spot as Towser had already crossed over. Lady Cha-Cha floated four wide with Harrington, Carrington rather, just ahead of her. At the rail, it's Lebo. Second last is Double Cosmo Girl. Sal's Dream Girl is the trailer. They sort themselves out behind 9-5 to five favorite Towser. 
Towser to the back stretch for Jackie Drayden Van Dyke in front by half a length. Okay, fine is at the rail in third as she prospers is badgering the leader in second. Three wide is Carrington in the two path is Burnaway. A length and a half to Le Beau, who's a half in front of Lady Cha Cha. Sal's Dream Girl lingers second last and double Cosmo Girl the trailer. The opening quarter was 24 and 2. They head to the half-mile point. She prospers on the outside. At the inside, it's Towser. They're still heads apart through a 48 and 3 half-mile speed. Okay, fine. In tight toward the rail. Burnaway's in the two-path. Three wide Carrington. Le Beau creeps closer, launching four wide and on an early bid is Lady Cha-Cha. Then back to Sal's Dream Girl and still at the back is Double Cosmo Girl. And we have a new leader. She prospers, shoves the neck in front. Towser tries to quicken with her. These two have gone three ahead of Okay, fine. Is a driven third. Inside and trying to run home is Le Beau. She needs some place to go. Lady Cha-Cha giving up a ton of ground. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Okay, fine is driver toward the top two, but the top horse is 35 to 1. She prospers is in front, an eighth of a mile out. Towser's fighting the good fight, five ahead of OK Fine. She prospers, driven out by Jose Morelos. OK Fine charging into second, but time has run out. She prospers, bombs away. Up for second, OK Fine. Third was Towser, fourth was Burnaway in 143 flat. Away. Good start for Neoprene in the middle and outside Asher's Edge. They move out heads apart, moving out the rail. Tricky Tiger is into third. Junction Road strides into fourth. Back at the rail, it's Coercive, then back to Paxton, and Mr. Tonk is the trailer. And they run to the half mile grounds. The leader is Neoprene by a neck. On the outside, Asher's Edge is their second, launched three wide early as Junction Road third. Tricky Tiger holds down the rail into fourth in front of Coercive, who's on hold in fifth. Back to sixth is Paxton. Seventh and last is Mr. Tonk. Five sixteenths from the judge, and the leader now is Asher's Edge. The favorite puts a neck in front. Neoprene tries to counterpunch second. Junction Road's been giving up a lot of ground. Inside, it's Tricky Tiger. Two back to Coercive together with Paxton, and they're at the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile from home, the leader is Asher's Edge. He's on top by a length and a half. From the outside, Junction Road. From the rail, Neoprene, then Tricky Tiger. Eighth of a mile out. Asher's Edge has the lead. Junction Road runs at him on the outside. Asher's Edge just in front. Junction Road with a late bid on the outside. Junction Road getting up. Junction Road. Junction Road nailed Asher's Edge right on the money. Neoprene is third. 103 and 3. That wraps up the opening weekend of the Sunshine Meet here at Gulfstream Park. When we return, we'll be with you on Friday with a card of nine races. Have a great week. We'll see you this weekend.